What's up guys? I'm making this at the request of r slash Starfield and r slash Halo, a little tutorial on how to recreate my Charon class frigate in Starfield. So I've gone through a few iterations since my first uh, attempt at recreating the Charon class frigate. This is what my current version is looking like. Just a little uh, swing around for you get an idea of where it's at right now. So I'm going to be making a quick tutorial on how to recreate my recreation of the Charon class frigate. I'm going to go ahead and start by taking this whole thing apart and we'll go from there. All right, we've got the frigate kind of exploded here. Uh, we've got it separated into habitation, the engine nacelles on the top and the bottom, the spines on the back, the two fins, and the nose rail section, the mat cannon section. So we're going to start with the habitation first because that's arguably the most important part. So at the bottom, we've got a shipbed 200 landing bay facing the back connected to a two by one habitation module and stacked on top of those is a three by one habitation module with a 10 T hauler cargo hold at the back to smooth things out at the back there. And then we've got two interconnected two by one modules right here. Because this is my captain's quarters, I put a little porthole at the top and the back here, but that's pretty optional as are most of the decorative pieces on this. And then topping it all off, we've got the Overseer 300 bridge from Hope Tech. We've got the mat cannon section at the front here. So this is four Aculander 11 landing gears spanning the bottom rail with a Stroud nose cap E at the end here. And on top of that, we've planted a Adelatl 270B missile launcher. The weapons are also optional. It's just uh, depends on what you want your loadout to look like. Um, optional as well are the essential components we've got back here. We've got the Bastille S81 shield generator, R2000 Alpha Grav Drive, 101 DS Mag Inertial Reactor, and the 500T HE3 tank. Uh, at the top, we've got four Stroud mid bracers and a Stroud braking engine at the front. And then we've got three different Deimos spines. I went for the Deimos spine C4 for the end here then a Deimos Spine B, and then smoothing it down to the same level as this with a Deimos Spine A aft. And for the fins, we've got a Stroud Nose Cap C Port 4 with two equipment plates to place weapons on. And then for my weapons, I just chose a Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector, and you get those from the Vanguard quests. And then a Stormax 60 Cargo Hold. You can go with any Stormax Cargo Hold, essentially. I just went for the highest capacity one I have access to right now, but they're all the same size, so it doesn't make much of a difference. And the fin on the other side is the same. It's just mirrored over with a starboard for Stroud nose cap C. Then the nacelles, we've got two Stroud engine bracer A's connected to two Stroud nose cap D starboard fours. On top, we've got a Deimos spine A4, and on bottom, we've got a Deimos skeg A. For the engines, which I've gotten a lot of questions about, we've got the SA4110 engines top and bottom and when you take these and flip them they have very many different configurations so make sure you get the right one and then kind of slapped on the side here for a little extra cargo that's out of the way we've got a caravel v102 cargo hold and a caravel v102 shielded cargo hold now those are pretty expensive but i was tired of getting caught by the cops every time i grabbed some contraband off a dead body so that's what i went with and it's pretty much the same for the other nacelle just flip to the other side and then the spines here, arguably the least important part. We've got a Deimos Wing E starboard and a mirrored one for port. A Deimos Spine A aft and a Deimos Spine C4. And then I've just topped these with little scan jammers. But of course, that's also optional. Now we'll go ahead and put everything together. I'll go ahead and grab those and just connect it right there. So those spines will go directly into the back of the bridge. And then these other ones will just hang out with the back here. I'll go ahead and grab this nacelle. If you have them separated as well on PC, you can double click and uh, go ahead and connect them that way. So those connect right behind where that little spine is, that wing. And we'll go ahead and do the same over here. Then we'll go ahead and get this entire front section. And we'll go ahead and put that on. And it's almost completely together now. We'll click this and control and click that. Snap that on right there. Covers up the essential components on that side. Double click, control click, snap that on. And we've got her put together. And I forgot to add as well, for docking, we've got a 100 DP slim docker bottom attached right down here. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope you're able to follow along. It's my first time making a tutorial like this, so who knows? Maybe there's more to come in the future. But yeah, thanks for watching.